As one develops the higher senses, it is wise to learn how to douse. Dousing has been done since the beginning of time. The true word for dousing is divining. It is simply allowing your higher senses to evaluate the energy patterns and bring back an answer. It is a good way to develop meditation techniques. It is a form of meditation because it allows you to tap into your unconscious mind and create a link to your higher chakras. The unconscious mind is unemotional and makes no value judgments. Therefore, it is able to perform all of its functions without bias or prejudice. When dousing, all that is needed to stimulate the unconscious into action is a question. And with that, it begins the search process. Without proper direction and guidance, however, the unconscious mind darts around aimlessly searching for a focus. The conscious mind provides the necessary direction to the unconscious when we douse. If on the conscious level the meanings of words are misunderstood or unclear, then we unwittingly misguide the unconscious when the question is asked. Unaware of any error, the unconscious will merely do what is requested and return an answer to the best of its ability. That is why it is important to be totally aware and develop the eighth chakra. This is a process of mind linking with the energies of creation. Everything in nature is energy. If you train your mind to respond to energy patterns, you can gain the wisdom of the universe. You can grow in consciousness. Nothing will be a secret. When you douse, it is important to mind link. You can mind link with everything in creation, a stone, a plant, an animal, a human, an angel, an extraterrestrial or a planet. Nothing will remain a secret. In dowsing you have a physical tool that will respond to the unconscious mind. In this way you can check your answers and be aware that you are not alone in creation. Dowsing is unlike other skills in that it requires a different method of thinking. Because it is a specialised skill, dowsing utilises a different portion of the brain than would normally be used in the conscious state. In September of 1982, Dr. Edith Jerker diplomat of the American Board of Psychiatry and Neurology conducted an experiment with seven gifted dowsers on a sophisticated electroencephalograph referred to as a mind mirror which measures both hemispheres of the brain concurrently. Her results shown in the diagram reflect how the trained dowsers brainwave levels differ from those of non-dowsers. The wide delta range normally reserved for deep sleep is the conscious awake brain wave pattern of the experienced dowser. From this experiment it can be deduced that dowsers have conscious control over their unconscious mind which extends into everyday life. Our consciousness is measured by hertz or cycles per second of brainwave activity. These are four states of brainwave activity. These states are termed beta 13 to 30 hertz, alpha 8 to 13 hertz, theta 4 to 7 hertz and delta which is 0 to 4 hertz. The beta state refers to the normal, usual or everyday consciousness. Alpha occurs when a person is relaxed or falling asleep. At this time, brain waves slow down to 8 to 13 cycles of hertz. The dream state refers to theta, an even slower brain wave pattern. The delta state refers to deep sleep. At Delta Consciousness you can activate the 8th Chakra and enter the higher planes of consciousness. As you can see by the graph, the trained dowser is conscious at all brainwave levels. This is proof that dowsing is an effective way to acquire knowledge. Learning most other skills usually requires an effort. Dowsing when executed properly is effortless. You simply become the conductor to receive the information. The answer is recorded in the response of the dowsing tool. Dowsing rods magnify your intuitive powers and turn them into a physical thing instead of a mental thing.